Next, we have airship fuel. Anateus. Captain Gerald asked for something to put in his Von Tassen airship. Apparently, it's out of fuel. Concordia. Oh, that old thing. First time I've heard someone say that old thing in reference to an airship. The last time I remember an airship actually in the air was in celebration for Frederick's birth. Clearly, Frederick disappointed his grandfather so much they never took it out again. Ha. More likely it's simply been out of fuel this whole time. The whole time? Are you serious? After the old head alchemist died, we had an interim one for a while who was not great. I wonder if this is the airship they're talking about. Or if this is just a big blimp made out of metal that's not flying. Maybe that's the thing that we are uh, fueling though. Oh no. After last time. I feel like this is going to be a mess. I wonder if I can bring down this, uh, the cycles and just go all out on cost. Because this one gives me so many, so many reagents that I feel like it wouldn't be hard. But that's what I said before. So maybe that's not going to be the case. Oops, that was... How do I use this? There we go. Pick it up. Come down here. Then we only need to fill in one. Go back to... New normal. What is this? Holding this button will show the atoms present when you last stop the transmutation engine. That could have been useful for a last time. Displays an alchemical reference diagram. Oh wow. This is the quicksilver that we do did for the lead to gold. We haven't used this vite or mores yet. Common, common alchemical primes and their transmutations. Everything around us is made from combinations of smaller numbers of underlying elements. By setting these elements and their transmutations, the alchemist learns to understand the workings of the universe itself. Okay. Can I click on anything? Nope. Alright. This is done. In my mind. We need one of these babies for this. Ugh, we need to be able to bond it. That's what I'm missing. This will be filled in for the center. So it can go through an empty one. We'll pick it up, go two down, boom, boom. And see what angle we're at. Do we pass through a full molecule kind of like before where we dipped it? That is useful. This ghost one. Some one? 
So yeah, let's keep it going. We'll dip the top one in. We'll bring it back. It'll be identical. And it doesn't need a new bonding spot. I feel like my thinking around this is all back. We need to release it here. And go back. And then fill in this spot. It'll be bonded. So now it'll look like this. So now we just want this last one. We move it one more counterclockwise. Oops, it didn't pick it anything up. You have to move it once. moved it once but we actually have to move it I think once more to have the right shape I always want to keep watching what's going on. I wish there was a back button. I actually don't think we need this one. Keep watching it and then not looking at the cycles. Now it's rotated twice. That's this part here. Or part here. Either way, it's being rotated the wrong way. Or needs to keep rotating. The face like uppish to get this last bit. Let's just add one more. One. This is nice. Okay, from here we wanna go back up, fill in this spot. Is, there 
there a slider? Does it keep going? That should it be it bonded in the correct shape, looking like. Now, I see why we have these ones so that we don't have to go through this crazy amount of work to get four of them attached. It does pan. Let's see how this goes. Wait, one more. One of them is already salt. Okay, I think this is enough for one night. We will come back to this one tomorrow. My mind must not have been in the right headspace. I feel like the first ones weren't too bad. Either there was a big leap in difficulty or my head was in a way better spot for the prologue in the first couple of these that's okay we'll tackle it tomorrow all right uh, welcome back we're at airship fuel or the precision sheen oil Oh yeah, I remember. So this is what we're looking for, is the ship. This like, two of the same, plus the two salts on the end. What are these? Uh, fire? Fire. Let's go back to the main menu. I realized when I was editing that it's one of the intro puzzles is actually to create a really similar molecule or product where they fill in these two and push it up and this one comes here i feel like if we could add one more uh, salt glit that should be
Perfect. I think the last time I was really overthinking it. So I'm hoping that this can be a lot easier this time. So simple too. And last time I was struggling with it for a while. This is the same shape. This can reach both of these. And then we'll have this bonded here and here. And hopefully this one can move it down. One. I guess this one could also do it. It shouldn't matter. But it'll be going through salt glyph. Or glyph of calcification. So we've got three fixed length arms and hopefully I can replicate what happened the last time. What I realized was one of my problems was that I didn't realize that the bonding happened pretty immediately. I thought that it had to sit there for a little bit and I think that might have been one of my one of my hang-ups last time. Anyway, let's get programming. So we're at number one. Pick it up, move down two, and release it. Return to where we were, pick it up, go down one, return. That should be, I think, all that this one has to do. Next, we can program number two, which shouldn't be in the way of the other one. It'll pick this up, go here, wait a second, and then pull it down here this way. It shouldn't release anything. It should continue to go to the right. When I say right, I mean counterclockwise. I realized that too editing is that when the full arm was going left or right or counterclockwise or clockwise, I was more likely to say left or right because look at these arrows, they go left and right. But this one feels the pivots feel more like rotations to me. So hopefully that keeps things kind of clear and set up. Once it goes to the right, we'll keep a hold of it, go one more right, and then return. Hopefully that will submit our thing. I think we might have to go and pivot the solution once. Let's see if they don't collide or anything. one too many turns. Oh, perfect. Now we only have to program the third arm. We're going to pick it up, go two to the right, and return. Do these have to be synced up? If I do this, will it start to try to collide here? We'll find out. Oops. See if sliding it over helps a little bit.
excited over more. Slide more of this over too. These never get bonded. Is this save if I exit out? Let's look at the example in the prologue one more time. fills in the two spots. It passes through the bonding area. That's what we need to happen. With this solution. Let's move this whole section over by one piece. Do it. I think that's not the problem. Let's go step by step. We need to pass it through here first. Let's move all of these instructions way too far over. We're going to fill in. Let's play it one by one. We'll reprogram this section. Now that I think I'm getting it a little bit more, we want to pick it up and place it in this section here. We want to return and then go to the right two. And then we want to pick it up once and go this way. Picking it up this way won't rotate it the right way. Picking it up from the left might. Maybe we want to fill in. the right side first. Let's see how this goes. We want to fill it in this way. I went the wrong way. it here nice this line for number two has to wait for this to start moving out of the way Can we move it one closer? Because it needs to start swinging. I think we can keep moving this thing up. One more. Oh yeah, that's that's the right satisfying spot. This one can probably go at the same speed as 
for a second lever, if not sooner. Because it's actually not waiting for anything to get out of the way. It needs to bond ahead of that before it gets moved. Let's see how this plays. This is it. Nice. Perfectly in the middle for our cycles. And slightly better when it comes to cost and area. Sweet. I think this is the first one that I did average to better. The other ones, I don't think totally made it there. Simple enough. Now that the Vantassen airship can take to the skies again. Sure, as long as we can find someone to pilot it. It doesn't seem too complicated. How about me? How can... How about Captain Jelt or Frederick? That's a disturbing thought. Maybe we should pretend the airship is still out of fuel. Yeah, if Captain Jelt got it. Maybe Frederick is not as into his liquor. But after learning about, what was it? Yeah, the hangover cure for a jolt. Maybe not so much. 